All right, chat, let us kahoot. Kahooting begin. All right, is that it? Is everybody down? All right, starting it. This quiz is about sharks. Sharks have been on Earth for over blank year. Can't see. Fuck, sorry, sorry. Kahoot. There we are. Sorry. I forgot. Yeah, that right answer wasn't even on that side anyway, so it doesn't matter. Why are two people named Avian Bald in the top three? What do you call a scientist who studies ocean life? Yeah, guys, what do you call a scientist who studies ocean life? You don't call them a fucking fish biologist, because fish biologists don't study ocean life. Dentist. Marine biologist. Somehow two people said dentist. And avian balds are still in the top two. I don't really know the implications of this question, but sure. Wasn't Shark Dentist a kid's game? Is that that one where, like, you would brush its teeth, and if you got too close or whatever, it would, like... I just flipped my phone. It would, uh, it would come down on you. And then there's, like, YouTube videos, like, horror videos of people replacing the teeth, like, razors. And so if you fuck up the toothbrush game, it just fucking... Cut your hand in half. Will you be my therapist? I don't think I'm qualified. Even if I was. All of these are terrible answers, by the way. Shark skin is soft one direction and rough the other direction. Literally made of teeth. Hmm, teeth skin. Yeah. Shark scales, the placoderm scales, or whatever the fuck they're called. I'm like, not placoderm, something like that, though. Placated scale. I don't remember what they're called. Placid. That sounds wrong. Placid scales? Yeah, that might be right, though. Anyways, they're teeth. They just evolved from teeth. Placoid. Ah, oh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, they're just evolved from teeth. So a shark is literally has uh, an armor made of teeth that it wears at all times. Hides. <laughs> I like it hides. That's me. The smell of blank can attract other sharks. I know more than I thought about sharks. Yeah, these are like the type of questions that you would know about sharks if you like watched one Discovery Channel thing as a kid. That's kind of the, the level of knowledge we're working with here. The smell of salt water. They're constantly freaking out all the time because they're super attracted to it. That would explain a lot. Someone else take the lead, please. What do you call a young shark? A kitten. Yes, I call all shark, all baby sharks, my kittens, my Discord kittens. Shark pups. Sometimes shark pups eat each other in the uterus. Fun fact. A shark is known for eating all different types of things. Fines. Ah, yes. Named goat of the ocean. What? Oh, not in a good way, goat. Like, goat, like, eats fucking everything. I was called a goat as a child because I chewed on plastic. I still chew on plastic. Do you guys do that? Do any of you do that? You have like a water bottle or something. Once you finish your water, you like take the cap and then you chew on it. I chewed on slippers. I ate drywall. Okay, none of this is what I was talking about. You are all more fucked up than me. I was just saying I like chewing on things sometimes. I was 100% a cap chewer. Okay, I'm still a cap chewer. I'm an everything chewer. I can't buy sweatshirts that have the little dangly things on them because without thinking about it, I'll chew on them. I used to chew on coins and I stopped when I slipped and I choked on it. What the fuck? I eat lead paint. <laughs> All right, everybody pack it up. That guy wins. I used to eat pencil lead, stopped when I realized it was expensive. That's what stopped you. You ate pencil lead, but you had to stop because it was too expensive. Blank shark is the biggest type of shark and is also very gentle. Weird humanization, whatever the fuck, anthropomorphization, personification. Y'all didn't eat the rim of a dollar bill because you can still use it? Oh no, of course we did that. Everybody ate the crust off the dollar bill, right? <laughs> Everyone's saying no, what the fuck? <laughs> Someone's first message was, huh? <laughs> when I was little, I'd eat rocks to test my limits. How do you eat a rock? Do you swallow it? Are you chewing on the rock? Fellow rock eater? Giga Chad, okay. Or I just munched sand. Oh, that was the worst. Oh, I hated it. I used to love bodyboarding as a kid. But like whenever you would take the L on a wave and your face would go down in the sand, even if your mouth was like perfectly closed and you were holding your nose, you always got sand in there. Oh, it tastes so bad. I loved having sand in my teeth after the beach. What the fuck? I'm gonna stop asking you guys questions because you give frightening answers. I liked it better when you were all just like normal in my mind. When you were all just like regular people that I could interact with. You all are very weird. <laughs> all right, let's see who won. Third place. Pajama Squid. Second place. Hackard B. Also recognize that name. 
First place, got every single question right. Avian bald. Not bald. Just a regular, just a regular buzz cut. Not bald. Just a buzz cut. Not the same thing. Anyways. Get fucked. Even when you think that I'm playing for the wrong team. <laughs> I was there the whole time. The double bait. Alright, next Kahoot. This quiz is about, like, Arctic ice fish. I know, like, nothing about Arctic fish. But Vachelesk is our resident expert on uh, ice fish. They are cold. Good, thanks, guys. First question. What species is this handsome specimen? It's an easy first question. Not really specifically an ice fish. Those are everywhere. It is a monkfish, correct. <laughs> John Dory would have been a crazy fucking name, though. Once the second was landed fish at many a North Sea fishing port, what species is this? Aw, oh, man, I knew it was a cod. I didn't know. There's a ling cod, though. There's a ling cod. I don't know if Whitting's a cod, but there's a ling cod and then there's haddock cod. So I just kind of guessed because I didn't know which cod it was. I think ling cod would be the most. No? Oh, the second most landed. Yeah, but I should have known by the photo. Now, the most is probably some kind of sardine or something. Ireland, they've been salting this fish for centuries. What? Oh, no, well, now, now color me confused. Everything here is a cod. Ling cod, pollux a cod, haddock is a cod. The cod is technically right, but that was a ling. Oh, I don't know. Some call it colon, but what is the more common name of this? Colin? People named this fish Colin? Like, hey, what's up, Colin? How you doing? Who the fuck names a fish Colin? It's like naring, naming a fish Jeremy. Why is John Dory back again? Who is John Dory? Once considered to be pet food, but is now eaten wildly by humans? I know what it is. Fuck, I thought it was going to be tuna. Wait, no! Wait. That's not a snook. It has a line down its side, but it's not a snook. Snook's mouths are down like that, right? Am I crazy? Snook, snook mouths go like this. I don't know my ocean fish at all. Whitting. It just kind of looked like a whitting. You know, sometimes you look at people and you're like, man, that dude looks like a quarry. That fish looked like a whitting. This distinctive flatfish is best caught in sandy areas. What is it? How am I supposed to identify it from here? I can see that it's a right side flatfish. But like flounder encompasses like their summer flounders and winter flounders and then lemon sole, dusky sole, and I'll bet a place is probably a flatfish as well. There's no way of knowing. See, but flounder was also right, because flounder also, it's a type of... This flatfish prefers a stony habitat. Oh yeah, there's just... Oh, sol mio! It would be sick if it was called the oh, sol mio. Imagine it was oh, sol mio. The lemon sole. We see much less of this popular whitefish than we once did. What is it? I hate common names. Because multiple of these are cod. What the fuck is the bling? The bling bling fish? <laughs> Large flatfish sometimes known as the cow of the sea. What's it more usually called? I have never heard this thing called the cow of the sea, by the way. Never have I heard that name. Yeah, the ca isn't the sea cow a manatee? I've heard manatees called sea cows. I don't think I've ever heard a fish be called a cow of the sea. Halibut. Do it just for the halibut. Alright, one more question. Also known as Torbay Soul. Oh. I just don't know my flatfish at all. I caught a flatfish recently. I went to the ocean for one of the rare occasions where I go to the ocean and I had no idea how to identify it. Super weird. The witch? I was like, this is for sure a harpy. Harpy just kind of sounded like the name that a, a fish, like a fisherman would give a fish. All right, top three. Number three. Boomew. I know Boomew. Gorgonzola. <laughs> Number one. JJJ. This is where I would usually reveal that I was JJJ, but unfortunately, I was Gorgonzola. I got second place. Embarrassing. Wow.